Hi everyone, welcome to the Diecast Collection Vidor's channel. I will show you the Monster Trucks Steer Clear by Hot Wheels. The Steer Clear is a fantasy model of a monster truck in the form of a bull. This is, I think, for me, is the upgrade of the original Steer Clear from the main line into a monster truck version, which is a larger version of that model. It has been upgraded into a monster truck that has the large wheels for the monster truck series with the Hot Wheels tires on the walls. The chassis in the middle with two parts brown for the chassis frame and for the suspension in chrome. The engine is below the back fender that is on the wheel well. It's over here. It's a bit covered by the large wheel. The rims are blue, which has the basic blue color plastic. In the metal body, it has a mix of plastic and metal parts. Most of the body is metal. Some of the plastic parts are in the chrome piece that is in here and the plastic windows. Above the plastic window on the door is the horn, which is just like the original steer clear in the main line. Paint designs are in the body, which have the Monster Trucks logo and the Hot Wheels logo just above the large front fender. The driver's side of the steer clear is almost similar except that there are some variations on the paint designs. It has still the uh, plastic parts on the metal body such as the uh, chrome part just in front of the back fender, the brown frame in the middle and the suspension under the brown frame. The engine is still visible in the back wheel well. The front has a large gap but it has the suspension uh, under the uh, front fender. Above the front fender has the Hot Wheels paint design and the Monster Trucks paint design in the middle. Like the other side, the horn is above which is uh, not that pointy, but it's here for completeness, for the bull effect. This is a very imaginary bull, which is a blue colored bull with some patches of brown. So uh, I checked some photos on the web and some bulls have some uh, different patches on their fur. The patches of fur which is the brown patches is a bit different for this side because the patches are present in the middle up to the front but there's not much of a patch at the back it's just a little line and line over here for the brown patches that is different from the other side I'm gonna turn the model again for now to show that there are more patches at the back fender unlike the uh, current side that we're uh, seeing there are more brown patches here at the back fender. The front of the steer clear shows a charging bull with some vehicle parts. The vehicle parts are the lights. I'm just guessing here because there's no paint designs. I'm just guessing here based on the casting details. I'm guessing that the sides are the lights for this truck. 
here's the other light and the bumper at the bottom at the center I'm thinking that this might be a license plate holder or this might be the grill it doesn't have any design what I'm sure about this model is on top of the lights are little forms in triangular shapes are for the nostrils of the steer clear here's the other nostril at the center and on the fenders are the brown patches that we saw earlier and those are the paint designs in the front on top of the uh, front hood is a pair of eyes but in the form of the windshields and these are uh, tinted in brown they're brown plastic divided by a metal uh, beam in the center to make it look like eyes we now see the full form of an angry bull ready for action with the horns on the sides the back of the steer clear has some paint designs but these paint designs are the brown patches of fur over the blue fur the brown patches are more in the right side than the left the fenders have some of the brown patches of paint the same with the other fender in the middle are two circular shapes in chrome and these are the exhausts for the engine in the bottom center is the engine detail which is for the motor that rotates when this truck runs in real life the top of the steer clear shows additional paints and some details in the front the brown fur patches they're not solid they're uh, more grainy to show that they're a different uh, fur coat over the blue fur coat of the steer clear which is a fantasy bull i'm not sure if we're going to see blue colored uh, bulls in the real life here are the pair of horns that are on the sides of the roof the back goes downwards and here is a much larger engine the engine for this truck is very large and it consists of these tubes the whole engine in the center with the exhausts at the back if this were real I'm guessing that this truck is going to be very strong and very fast because of the large engine but this is a monster truck if it becomes real I'm thinking the engine below will be the one running this truck okay it's a bit hard to show the interior of this model because it's a uh, bull shape and the windows are not that clear but we can manage to see some of the interior parts like the car seat in the middle it's chrome the driver's wheel is a bit hard to show through the side window but if we turn over the truck there you go there's the steering wheel let me try to point with my pointer there's a steering wheel so you can see where this points there's the shape it's circular and that is in front of the chrome driver's seat we saw earlier and the side window I think uh, this monster truck is a viable truck if it becomes uh, one of the realistic trucks to be run on the Hot Wheels arena because the driver is seated uh, correctly but he has to extend his neck so the, because the seat is a bit low in the monster trucks so he has to stand up a bit to see what's in front through the front window but it's a it's a viable truck in the steer clear has the regular features of a monster truck that is in addition to what we saw in a regular monster truck like large wheels and metal body the steer clear can roll very smoothly 
you can turn both the front and back wheels left and right or just the back wheel or front wheel depending on how you want to pose it this is possible because at the underside both the front and the back wheels can move up and down that allows you to turn either wheel depending on how you want to pose it it comes with the main accessory which is the uh, connectable car which is a plastic mashed car that you can connect other kinds of similar cars with pegs like this I don't have another one but when I get another monster truck with this uh, prop I'll be able to show you how that works you can use this prop to pose your steer clear like this or like this it depends on how you want it the other included uh, accessory which is not official is this name tag which is when you uh, buy a monster truck you'll be able to get this which is positioned in the wheel area so uh, I think uh, for me this is a prop that you can use to display this uh, name tag with the model the card back that shows additional information about the truck on what it can do and the uh, things that make this uh, go wild in the arena to do stunts there are more trucks available that is included with the steer clear in the series and here they are this ends my video art on the monster trucks steer clear by hot wheels thanks for watching enjoy a collection and see you with the next model